Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I am very happy to see you here today. And today in this video, I am preparing something for dry, flaky and sensitive skin. You will really benefit from this DIY cleansing milk. It contains just simple ingredients and it provides wonderful benefits for your skin. Do not forget to subscribe to Comfort Life channel so you are always up to date with all the videos I'm uploading. I have a lot of videos about acne prone skin and oily skin. I think I need to do a little, maybe more videos about flaky and sensitive skin so just you guys let me know what type of skin you have and what recipes you are most interested in so this recipe I'm going to prepare by mixing it in a big bowl of course always make sure that everything is clean and the main ingredient I would say in our recipe because it's uh, the cleansing milk would be the yogurt well it's important to uh, get the yogurt that is not fat free because these uh, lubricating fats they're important for you know protection and moisturizing the dry skin yogurt has exfoliating properties but it's uh, a very gentle exfoliating of course so nourishing moisturizing properties that's why we're using it in our recipe today we shall need half a cup of yogurt we're using greek yogurt because i believe it works better with um, the consistency that we're trying to achieve let me just fill it up so i believe it gives us a perfect half a cup of greek yogurt that we are putting in the bowl here to mix with uh, the rest of the ingredients. The next ingredient we're going to use would be lemon juice. Well, I advise you to use freshly squeezed lemon juice, just a teaspoon of lemon juice. So you just squeeze it in the measuring spoon until you reach the amount needed, right? One teaspoon, so pre pretty much one slice will be enough. So we put everything in here and we are using lemon juice because it's pore purifying and we are not using it in large amounts here. You shouldn't be afraid, it will really irritate your skin. But of course, you could totally omit that step. Now, the next thing we're going to use is um, the essential oil. The essential oil I recommend using for this recipe will be lavender essential oil. Lavender essential oil is great because it cleanses, soothes and also uh, reduces the redness and the irritation that you might have. One, two, three drops of lavender essential oil. Mix everything up again. And another ingredient I usually use for this cleansing milk is the oil. Well, there are also numerous options here. You could use the grapeseed oil, it's great uh, for sensitive skincare. You could use um, rosehip oil, it's really amazing for skincare as well, very moisturizing. Olive oil would really give you great results as well. Guys, if you wonder what is the best place to shop online, that is Thrive Market. This is the place where I get almost everything for my DIY beauty skincare and cleaning recipes, as well as staple items for my kitchen and family. Make sure to follow the link in the description right down below this video and start saving with Thrive Market. And we shall not need a lot, just another teaspoon of the oil. So let me so let me do that. Another teaspoon of the oil. And that is our last ingredient. So all we'll need to do is give it a final mix. I should of course mention that this milk, this cleansing milk is really great for dry and flaky skin because we want to get rid of that flakiness, right? And we can do this by gentle exfoliation, that's really important. Milk and all milk-based uh, products like yogurt, like we're using today, can, they contain lactic acid. This is like alpha hydroxy acid. Alpha hydroxy acids, they naturally exfoliate your skin by that are dissolving the dead skin cells, you know, which form that flaky skin. So if you have acne prone skin, of course, and you have any flakiness, you could also uh, benefit from using this recipe, but use the oil like grapeseed, something that, um, you know, rates zero in a comedogenic list of oils, right? Our goal is prepare something very, very gentle, that something that would not irritate our skin. For this recipe, you're going to transfer it to the airtight container with the lid. Uh, of course, store it in the refrigerator and that would last um, up to for up to 10 days. When you're going to use it, I would say you just scoop uh, one teaspoon of this mixture and it will melt on your face. You will need to gently massage it 
onto your dry face. It's very important to use it on the dry face for a minute, you know, so you promote this massage, you know, in circular motions very, very gently. And then um, you have an option. You could either leave it on for five minutes and, uh, you know, especially if you have really red and uh, dry flaky skin. And then or right away you could rinse it off with warm water and then you could even follow with some cold water. And then you proceed with your regular skincare routine. It's very gentle. I really love this recipe for flaky skin. And a little note here, this recipe is not really strong enough to remove, you know, heavy makeup. It can also, it could be great for you to use it in the morning, let's say, after, you know, you want to cleanse your face after nighttime to remove all the oil and, you know, dirt. If you want something that would remove any dirt and any makeup, you can watch my other video where I'm preparing the face wash for sensitive skin. And you can always use it, um after that so or just up to use it in the morning i really hope you guys like this video it is really a very simple recipe it's very it contains very powerful ingredients especially that lactic acid i applied it on my hand actually and i washed it off with water i could already feel how much softer and smoother my skin is so i guess if you want to have a great you know mask for your hands for dry hands that would work perfectly as well. So if you like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I wish you guys to stay very happy, very healthy. I wish you to be successful in your DIY recipes and journey. And of course, I will be very, very happy to see my next video.